Hi guys, today on Modern Magad, we'll be showing you how to update your phone to the latest Android version available and with KitKat around the counter, how to get how to get your phone prepared for that update and if you encounter any kind of problems during the process, please leave a comment below and we'll be ready to help you. What you will need is a rooted Android phone with custom recovery, a USB data cable for your phone and a Windows machine if you don't have a custom recovery. First, you'll need to head over to this website called SciEngineMod.org devices the link will be down in the description then you want to select your phone maker which is samsung in this case because we are using an inter international version of samsung galaxy s3 so uh, and uh, uh, on the type version you will not you will deselect all the unwanted types so we are just going to leave phone selected here because we don't want a clutter of devices to select from so we're just going to leave phone selected and then the sanction mod versions just leave or all is checked there because we want to see how, uh, which latest version you'll get for your phone. Now from the clutter of devices, you'll need to choose your phone. Here we are with the Samsung Galaxy S3 international version. Now you'll need to take one extra step of confirming your code name of the device. In our case, it is i9300, so confirm that name and then click on it. Now on this web page, click on nightly because we want the latest version of Android. And now from the downloads page, you need to download the latest latest nightly build. So which is the top one, you just click on it, the download starts, it is a zip file. So just click on it and save file. So you just want to save the file on your computer for now and later we'll transfer it to your device. Now you need to download another file from another website called team android slash g app. The link will be in the description. Scroll down a little and look for the uh, Sanjin mod build you've downloaded. In our case, it is a Sanjin mod 10.2, so we are going to download the latest version of GFs for our build. So we are going to download it from a mirror. The mirror is uh, generally uh, an outsourced mirror. In our case, it is hot file, so we just like regular download because we don't have a premium version of hot file. So we just can select, and after the, it is downloaded, connect your phone to your computer and transfer those two files. Oh, yeah phone we're just gonna go on to our sd card it doesn't matter if you don't have a sd card you can do it on your internal memory we're just gonna create new folder called update without any open it it's not compulsory you can give that folder any name and we're gonna transfer those two files onto this folder and after the transfer is complete disconnect your phone and boot it into recovery the recovery button combinations for different phones are different. You want to Google that app. Now you want to go down to uh, backup and restore and get an android backup of your current state of your phone so that if anything goes bad you don't lose your data and after the uh, restore is done uh, you leave that file onto your uh, phone or you want to copy it onto your uh, computer you do it as you wish if you don't have enough space copy it to your computer and delete it from your sd card then you want to install sd uh, zip from your sd card in my case it's on my external sd card so i select uh, update from external SD card then I select the folder that I just created update then I install the uh, Cyanogen mod before installing the G apps this is primary that you install the Cyanogen mod first after the Cyanogen mod is installed you again want to head over to install from an external SD card you tap on enter after you get there then you again go on to the folder that we created which is update You go on to update, then uh, you select G apps this time. And after your G apps is installation is complete, you wanna go back to the main menu of your recovery uh, and you wanna select mounts and storage because you want to delete everything that's on your device right now, except your restore file. Uh, sorry your backup file that you just created so go down to format data this will not delete any of your music files or something like that or your 
DCIM and your camera picks will be there and including your um, recovery uh, backup that's just created so go on to data uh, format data and select yes then you go on to format cache and select yes then you go on to format preload and select yes and after you format all those three you want to select reboot system now and after you press enter you will be greeted with your uh, manufacturer splash screen and after that instead of getting another splash screen from your manufacturer you will see this beautiful science and mod boot animation let's just speed this up for now uh, for the first time you boot it's gonna take a long time because it's your first boot then after that uh, your consecutive boots will be a little faster a way faster I mean not a little faster then after it's boot, booted up you'll be greeted with your science and mod uh, setup screen and just, I'm just gonna select English then uh, if you are not a science and mod user before you want to select uh, create a new account you check for updates then it'll ask you to enter your email ID and password and after you are done with setting up your science and mod account you will be uh, you will be using the latest Android version available and now you'll be able to update further by going into system settings about phone and science and mod updates to the latest Android version if anyone comes out and thank you guys for watching I hope you liked the video Leave a thumbs up below and don't forget to comment and subscribe. Thank you guys.